Hello and welcome to this tutorial of how to use Doxy.me to uh, perform video visits with your patients. Let's get right into it. So the first step is to go to a compatible browser which is either Google Chrome or Safari as far as I know and you can use any device for for the uh, video conferencing. Phone, tablet, computer, doesn't matter. So first let's go ahead and sign up. So you go to Doxy.me On the top right, click sign up for free. Click I am a provider. Go ahead and enter what you want to call yourself there. First name, last name. Now down here we have the room name and that's important because that will be the permanent URL that your patients will go to. For example, doxy.me slash Dr. Smith. That will be how patients can get into your your waiting room. The next one is your email. I would caution against using an email that only you have access to at work because you may be doing some of these visits from home or off-site. Enter your password here and then click that you are a Doxy user. Click sign up. Now I already have an account. So to sign in, again, you go to doxy.me and instead of sign up for free, next time you're going to click sign in. Enter your username and password. And in you go to your dashboard. Now this is where everything happens, this one screen right here. So let me show you a little bit around with it. The first step to do is to set it up. And this is a one-time setup. So over here on the left, you can edit your waiting room. Uh, you can put a different picture here if you want. You can, uh, for example, a company logo. You can put um, a different message here for the patient to see. There are tips down below. On the left, the next tab is the account settings. This one has all the important details. So it has your personal information. You can change your picture and so forth, your name. Room settings, there are billing settings and so forth. The BAA, this is your business associate agreement that gives you the HIPAA security that is required for uh, telemedicine video visits. Notifications, you can tell it what you want to do. Extensions, uh, various things there, and then badges, uh, which you can put a picture and so forth. Now, if you go to back to your dashboard, this is where you will be able to start your visits. So now we're getting into how do we actually use it. So number one, patients can just go to your URL. So you tell them over the phone, go to doxy.me slash whatever you set up when you first set up your account. The easier way to do it, however, is to just send them a link to that. Uh, you can click here. Also your medical assistant or LVN, if you give them access, can perform all of this part of it. Send an email to the patient, calendar invite, my favorite is a text message. So you will click text message, put in the patient's phone number, and click send message. Once you click that, a text message will go to the patient, and then they will click the link and click a button that says check in. Once they check in, uh, well, they'll have to put in their name, and then they'll check in, and so you can see John Healthnet just entered my waiting room. Fantastic. So he's right on time for his appointment, but I already have somebody ahead of him. In this instance, my team can click down here on the right and send him a message. Hello, John. It will be about 10 minutes until your visit, we are running a little behind. So he will get that uh, and he can send a message back something like, no problem, I know how hard you all work. Great. So now there's no problem if there's multiple people in my waiting room and I'm seeing patients back to back. Okay, so when we're ready to go ahead and start our video visit, uh, we're going to need to click on this button right here, start the call. 
Okay, but what I want to do is go ahead and cast my screen. Okay. So here we go. So this is what it looks like on the phone. Let's get rid of that. So on the phone, you have the same exact view, no different whatsoever. Um, all the same tools are here. You can cl click that and it goes away, right? So same thing, I can send a text message here and so forth. So no different at all. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click up there on the left. I'm gonna click on his name to start the call. Video call. Whoops, now we just ended the call. Okay, let me try that again. Click the video call, there we go. Okay, now we've got, so here's, uh, we'll make this the patient view. There's John Healthnut, he looks very healthy. Here's me and I'm seeing him and uh, We take care of whatever the needs are. We're ready to end the visit. Now, when we're ready to end the visit, let me put that there just for a second. When we're ready to end the visit, down here is a little, uh, the, the hang up button. Uh, so you can't see it because of that logo, but I'm gonna click the hang up button, end the call, and the call is ended. So now you're ready to move on to the next patient. Um, and there's nothing further that you need to do in doxy.me. All right, that's it for now. Take care.